Thank you. <laughs> Max, oh, she's getting bigger every day. You think so? Oh, absolutely. Oh, you just uh, don't notice it because you're with her all the time. Well, try telling yeah. Frisco that. How's the kids? <laughs> they are fine. Be just playing your room and the other kids are asleep. I think I'm going to go help Ruby. Me too. Oh, me three. It's been a long time since I've made dinner for more than myself. <laughs> Honey, can I get you something? Iced tea, thanks. Okay. Boy, have you got perfect timing. Dinner's ready. It's about to be served. I'm glad you're here. I've got something I want to show you. Tony, here's your uh, tea. Oh, thanks. Oh, hello, Frisco. Sweetheart, I thought I would invite Rita over to see Max. She's going to stay for dinner. It's, she's really beautiful. I mean, there's such a strong family resemblance. Oh, I hadn't noticed. Oh, take it from me. Uh, she's really gorgeous. Thanks. Uh, here's your drink, Tony. Oh, thank you. What is that? A family album, you want to see? It's oh, pretty yeah, interesting. Yeah, I'd love to. This is when we did Lucas's Christmas. Are you oh, upset? Uh, well, I wish you would have told me. Well, it was sort of spur of the moment. You're not upset, are you? No, no. You're surprised. Well, good. I hope you meant what you said about letting go of the past. What past? Huh? Once I start, I can't stop. Me too. Bobby. 200 of these. Yes, honey? Did you know there's a picture missing from this album? There is? Yes, yeah, the one with uh, Robert and Lucas in the christening. Probably fell behind the bookcase. You want me to move it? No, thanks. Oh. I'll do it later. I'm glad you and I have had a chance to talk. Yeah, I was hoping we'd get a chance. I really feel like I know you already. Tony just goes on and on. <laughs> and on. <laughs> all good, I hope. Oh, yeah, of course, especially since, you know, you've resolved all your problems. Tony told you about our problem. Oh, I'm sorry, you didn't know? Oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, I'm not worried about it, I'm just a little surprised. That's all, it was a little personal. Oh, well, I guess I shouldn't have said anything. I don't want to get Tony in any trouble. No, he's not in trouble, I just don't particularly want to talk about it, okay? Mm. Well, don't be angry. I, maybe he uh, confided in me because we've known each other for such a long time. Still, he hasn't seen you for quite a while. Yeah, yeah, that's true, but... You know, men just feel comfortable talking to me. I don't know. I, I have several male friends. Most of them are married, by the way. And well, I guess I'm just the kind of woman that, that men feel they can talk to. I Frisco. Um, do you need something? Any more onion dip, Bobby? Come right out. Um, you know what? I think I'll take these out and see if anybody wants anything else to drink. Bet you can hardly wait to get this night over, huh? Oh, really? What makes you say that? Is she bugging you? Why do I look bugged? Not bugged. Distracted, maybe. Something wrong? Yeah. What about you? No, I'm fine. Hmm. Sure? Yeah. Hmm? Something you want to talk about? No. How about you? No. Guess I better take this dip back in there. What? She what? <laughs> Got the chips. Chips and dip? Yeah. yeah, like they say, you can't just eat one. What's on? Here's the latest on the story that has all or Charles Buck. Diamonds, and the missing diamonds, diamonds. Bobby, come sit down. Who's going to get the diamonds? This is like our version of Why Dynasty, except JR's named Lucy. <laughs> Let's hope she doesn't get the diamonds. <laughs> and why was the claimant deadline extended for another 48 hours? Despite a gag order imposed by the police commissioner, this reporter has been able to uncover certain facts. It seems certain that Commissioner Scorpio believes he has a lead on the rightful owner. And this reporter has it on good authority that it's someone related to the late mobster Victor Jerome. Through a reliable source, I've learned Commissioner Scorpio is interviewing certain persons with definite ties to the Jerome family, specifically ex-Jerome attorney Mark Broxton, in hopes he'll uncover a connection. Did the diamonds belong to Victor Jerome? Is there a long-lost heir out there somewhere? I believe the answer to the last question is no. 
I have it on good authority. The leads that the commissioner is following almost certainly lead to a dead end. And it won't be the first time Commissioner Scorpio has wasted valuable time and taxpayers' money pursuing fruitless leads in which he has a vested personal interest. Well, that's enough of I that. I need to only remind you of the P. Kaysen. Why is he leaning on Robert so much? Well, if he is right, it certainly proves one thing. What's that? That Robert was wrong to call Cheryl down to the office because he was wasting her time. Good luck. I guess it's been... So, so special. Well, I'm, I'm sorry that we didn't do it sooner, but Frisco's been kind of... Mm. No, I understand. He doesn't talk about his family very much. It explains me for so much, and I... It's just not all my fault. I know, but he promises he doesn't hold that against you anymore. Well, I hope that's true. It would be a lot easier on you, wouldn't it? Boy, well, it's just not me. I'm worried about it. It's him. I mean... If for anybody to have so much hate inside of them, it's really not very good. Yeah, but it's also no fun being hated. You're really so understanding, aren't you? I mean, you have no idea how much all this was meant to me tonight. Seeing Andrew's little granddaughter and getting time to spend with Tony and now Frisco. I mean, in spite of all our misunderstanding, uh, they're the only family I have right now, you know. Well, now you have me and Max, too. Mm, you are so sweet to me. <laughs> you won't forget to keep in touch with us, will you? Oh, absolutely, I will. Oh, and don't forget about the information you're going to send me on that project. I'll do it as soon as I get back, okay? Okay, yeah. Good. Well, I think we're just that done. Yeah. Oh, oh, put this here. Okay, let's go back and join the others. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Are you leaving already? Oh, yeah, I'm afraid But so. the night's young. <laughs> no, I really should be going now. Okay, I'll, I'll drop you. No, that's not necessary. Well, she's that. right. I mean, it's, it's a family day. Might as well just stay here with us. I, um, I'm going to go out. Ruby, would you mind babysitting? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. So, Bobby, I'd like to have a word with you, if, if you don't mind. Oh, uh, I can't right now. Where are you going? Oh, I have adoption business. Cook. Now? Do you want me to drop you off someplace? No, that's okay. I don't know how long I'm going to be. Bobby, thanks again. I really had a wonderful time. You're welcome. Yeah, we'll have to do this again before you leave. Oh, I'd like to. I would. Frisco, uh, Felicia, great dinner. Yeah, good night. Okay. Good night. Good night. Uh, well, I think I'm going to go upstairs and check on Lucas and BJ. Would you like me to look in on Max? Oh, that'd be great. Thanks, Ruby. You got it. I think things went pretty well, don't you? Yeah, fine. And I think Rita is a very nice lady. Mm-hmm. What did you talk about in the kitchen? Oh, girl talk, mostly. You and Tony and Max and, and your father. What did she say? Oh, nothing really. It was just chit-chat. Why? Is that a problem? No, no, it's not a problem. Frisco. It's not a problem. I don't, I don't want to discuss it. Yes, it is a problem, and it shouldn't be, because you're supposed to put that behind you. It is behind me. I said it was. It is. Then what's bugging you? Bobby. I feel bad for Bobby. What happened to Bobby? She doesn't know what's going on around her, that's what. What, what do you mean? Nothing. I, I shouldn't uh, no, have no, mentioned. no, don't do that to me. Don't start something and then just stop in the middle of it. Felicia, I don't want to talk about it. I shouldn't have mentioned it, so mentioned could we what? please drop what? it? I think it's time that you knew the truth. About what? About Rita Lloyd. Those are the cold, hard facts. I can't believe you went behind her back to do this investigation. Well, I had good reason. What, that you don't trust her? Do you always investigate everybody you don't trust? 
Well, this is a little different, honey. Everybody isn't trying to pry my family apart. She isn't. What the hell she isn't? I can't believe you included Sean in this. He... he did it as a favor to me. Does that favor include lying to me? That's... that's not the point here, Felicia. That file justifies everything that I did. Oh, how do you figure that? The payments into her bank account. What about them? They're all from older married men. So what? What do you mean, so what? Come on, it's obvious. Is it? Yes, do you need me to spell it out for you? Yes, please, spell it. Fine. Rita Lloyd is a high-class hooker, just what I thought she was. That's funny to you. It's funny that she's with my brother, she was hanging out with her daughter. I think you have a pretty warped sense of humor. She's not a hooker. You have the proof in your hands. No, I don't. Well, how do you explain the bank deposits? They're for her animal shelter. Her what? She has an animal shelter for abandoned and abused animals. She's had it since her father died. She told me all about it. <laughs> right, Felicia, you might buy that, but I'm having a little trouble choking that one down. All those payments were made by older, married... Generous, concerned businessmen from San Francisco. She told me about those men, too. She did? Yeah, she did. She's going to send me some information about the project. Personally, I think it's a very nice thing. I wasn't, uh... Are you embarrassed? I would be if I were you. I'm gonna go upstairs and check on Max. And I wanna go over these facts. Hello, Detective. How long are you going to punish me? Until I'm sure you've learned your lesson. I've learned my lesson. Do you promise that you'll never, ever, ever do it again? Never. Promise? Swear. That's what you said about the WSB. Joining the police department. The investigation with... Okay, Decker. okay, okay. I get your point. If I fall off the bed, you're dead. I'm just trying to apologize. You're making it a little tough. I'm not the one you're supposed to apologize to. What do I have to say anything to Rita for? She doesn't know anything. What if she finds out? Well, she shouldn't find out. But what if she does? Then I'll just take my medicine like a man. And you'll admit to everything? Mm-hmm. So you were stupid. It's putting it a little harshly. But you were suspicious. Mm. Yes. But you jumped blindly to conclusions? I didn't jump blindly. Yes. That you lied? I didn't... Yes. That you were a sneaker and you snuck behind everybody's back. Sneak? You're calling me sneak? I snuck a little. Mistrusted Tony? I was worried. <sighs> yes. That you coerced our very best friend into not only helping you, but to lying to your wife. I'll apologize to Sean. Do you think that'll do any good? I don't know. So, what exactly have we learned here today? No more sneaking. Good. And if I ever do decide to sneak, to make you sure that you don't get so snitty. You forgive me? Go. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for coming over. You're right. It's not like you're jumping out of a window. 
Well, uh, what happened? Where's Felicia? Sean. Felicia left. She took Max with her. She what? The marriage is over. She left. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, but, but, but why? Why would she do that? What'd she say to you? I don't know, Sean. Everything just... Uh, it just got out of hand, that's all. All right, what started it then? Rita. My attitude toward... What do you mean, your attitude toward Rita? I mean, you accepted Rita. You told me that you and, and Felicia made up uh, as soon as you explained to her why I had Rita checked out. Well, that's right? exactly what I thought. And that's what she said to me, but... She just blew. I really did it this time. I really did it. She... You didn't no, do anything. Well, right, She's right, running right. away from me, not oh, you. Oh, yeah, but I was part of it. And I betrayed her trust. That's what I did, yeah. You were doing me a favor. You know, Frisco, I, I, I think of her as a daughter. And I lied to her. Sean. Sean, it's just something. All right, where'd she go? Where'd she go? Maybe I can talk some sense into her, huh? Felicia and the baby are on their On the way to Texas as we speak. Her grandmothers. How long ago did she leave? I have no idea. What's the license of the car? Sean, don't worry about it. It's not going to do any good. It's Felicia's own car. It's also her baby. She can drive that child anywhere she wants to. I guess you're right. I guess I... I uh, well, we got to think of something, right? You had your breakfast yet? I can't eat. Well, at least you can do is have a cup of coffee with me. I'll get your jacket and I will go over to Kelly's, huh? Okay. Hit me. Uh, what just hit you? I may never see my daughter again. Uh, Frisco, where are the uh, cups and saucers? Uh, the cabinet room. Oh, okay. Sean, I can't do it. I can't go to this club and sing. Who am I kidding, huh? I mean, oh, this no, all no, 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 come on, come on, sit down, sit down, sit down, have some fun. Look, I figure if you, uh, go to the club and sing, it'll take your mind off your, off your trouble. Oh, I'm sorry, they're just gonna have to do with the radio tonight. Oh, that's terrific. I know I not only have Felicia mad at me, now I have the club mad at me, too. Sean, it's not entirely your fault. I know it's not entirely my fault. It's not your fault either. And look, I'm your friend, okay? So you don't have to go on with the show tonight as far as I'm concerned, okay? Thanks for understanding. Of course I understand. Our lives are not going to be the same without Felicia. Or my goddaughter. Oh, just the thought of that, just the sound of it, I... It's like putting a knife in my chest, them out there alone, me here. I may never get to see either of them again. I'm sorry, excuse me, Sean, excuse me. Sean's ready to cut his throat out there. That's not punishment enough. Well, what do you want him to do? Not just him, you. You both deserve to be punished for what you did. Well, I am suffering like crazy. Honest, I am. Now, come on, the joke's gone far enough, huh? 
I'm not so sure. Honey, if he beats himself up anymore, his chest will cave in. He feels that bad? Yes, and so do I, honest. Now, come on, you've made your point. Okay, we'll put him out of the bag now. Thank Let's you. Go. Where did he go? I, I don't know. He would... It's a note. On my way to Texas to bring back Felicia and the baby. Oh. Well, it looks like our joke might have backfired, hmm? That... Oh. I was too convincing. You would have been proud of me. Oh, I don't believe this. I never thought he would do this. Well, neither did I. Well, what are we saying in here? We gotta go find him. The problem is, we don't know how the far he went. Well, wait a minute, sweetheart, listen. What about Max? We can't leave the baby back there. Who? Why? You know, the minute I saw this, I knew for a fact that Felicia was not going to be driving anywhere with Max. Gotcha. <laughs> It was her idea. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Have you taste this first just to be on the safe side, huh? I wouldn't go quite that far to punish you. <sighs> Glad all is forgiven then. Uh -huh. All is forgiven but not forgotten. You're still on my Z list. Mm. Give him a break, huh? You're on the list too. You both deserve a lot worse for what you did to Rita and me. Well, honey, no real harm was done. Only to your reputations. For a big-time detective and an ex-WSB head, your investigative abilities sure do stink. You want to hear more? Uh, I've heard. Thank you. No, 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 no. Go ahead. I love looking foolish. Rita Lloyd is an animal rights activist. She has an animal shelter for little puppies and kittens. Her money goes for the cause, not for her body. Now, I told you not to jump to conclusions, didn't I? <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> Animal activist. I guess that's a load off your mind, huh? Stabbing, I'm running. I hate holiday traffic and I hate holiday. Don't blame me. I got smart and shopped in the neighborhood. Oh, did you get the fire truck from Lucas? Oh, the one that sprays in the bathtub. I love that one. It's so good. Oh, <laughs> news, the big kid. I got everything on your list. Oh, thanks, Ruby. I think I better take these upstairs and hide them where no one can find them. You think? <laughs> hey, what'd you get me? A toothbrush. Oh, oh, perfect. Where are you off to? <laughs> where are you going? We're going to Della Field. It's our first night out since Max was born. I still think we should take her with us. Well, she's with Simone. He's such a worry ward. Mm -hmm. Hey, why don't you come with us? It's okay with me. Oh, sorry, I can't. I have adoption business, but you go. No, not without you. Honey, go. Just because I can't go, that doesn't mean you can't go. Go on, have a good time. Excuse me, I want to go upstairs and see what we got for the kids. Are well, you coming with us, aren't you? No, nah, I'd feel like a fifth wheel. Oh, no. You don't have to feel that way, Tony. You can always invite Rita. Well, yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> okay, I'm going to call her. That's great. Are Sean and Tiffany still coming? No, she's a chick on Big Story at Yale Cube. Maybe I should call home. I beg your pardon. Trisky just did that, didn't he? Yeah, but Max was probably awake by now. Oh, I'm sure Simone can handle that. <laughs> You're right. She's a pediatrician after all, isn't she? Yeah. I mean, Max could be a better hand. Except for her parents. Well, of course. Are you saying that I shouldn't have left her? No, I'm not saying that at all. I think that it's good. I mean, you know, you're not supposed to be with your baby 24 hours a day. Mm -hmm. well, it's good for her to see other people, too. Yes. It's very good. <sighs> well, I feel better. Good. Of course. I'm gonna go call someone. Oh, Felicia, sit down. Everything's fine. Let's just talk about something else. Shall we? <laughs> oh, um, Sean told me about this trick that you tried to pull on here. <laughs> about my random outfit, Max. Mm -hmm. 
Do you think that he believed that? Oh, sure, I think he would have had been for the car scene. I'm sure he would if I know he would have. Are you talking about that sadistic little joke you had me play on Sean? Well, it wasn't any more sadistic than what the two of you did to Rita. Honey, I had no idea that money was going to her animal shelter. Well, you could have asked her. I made one little mistake my first this year. Gosh, Rita's a very nice, sweet person. She's no threat to Tony and Bobby because they have a good, strong, solid marriage. The same as ours. <laughs> Come on, make that suggestion. What is he doing? Maybe he's working on his finances. With Dawn? Well, he knows she was married to Ned Ashton. He obviously doesn't know she didn't take a dime from the settlement. He said he had a lot of money for the video. Well, that's what he says. But Anna here doesn't think so. No. He's already pulled one pond job. I'm sure he's got another one up his sleeve. Thank Christmas. Oh, I got one more set to do. Last song, we're home. Excuse me. Be nice to see you with your wife here sometime. <laughs> Will do, sir. It is a shame Bobby couldn't be here. Well, it's about the adoption business. Mm, that really means a lot to her, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. You know, I saw it for the first time tonight, too. Mm. I've been pretty upset because she hasn't been spending much time with me, but... I don't know, tonight I saw that it was really hard on her. Oh, I'm sure she would have changed her plans if she could have. I think so, too. I think so, too. Ready to go shopping? I suppose. It's her problem. It's not a Don was supposed to show up for babysitting, but she didn't. Ruby's there now, but I don't understand Don. It's not oh, like her to do as long that. As Ruby's there, it's okay. You yeah. guys talking about Don Winthrop? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. She's not answering the phone. She was okay last night. No, I take that back. She wasn't feeling very well at all, but now nobody's answering. Yeah, somebody picked up the phone, but there's no one there. Hello? Don? Um, I think we maybe should just go and check it out. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Right. And the paramedics are already on their way. I'm a little concerned they're going to get lost in this complex, though. Edge, would you come with me, please, and go out and look out the back of the building? Felice, you stay with her. I want you to look out the back of the building until they arrive. Edge? Hello? Go ahead, I'll be here. Told me to call you if there's ever a problem where there's a problem. She's going to the hospital. No, no, no. I'll meet you there and I'll tell you later. Bye. Sit here. Come on, come on. What's the patient's name? What happened? I don't know. You like this. How long ago? Uh, I don't know. About 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Has she, she had any problems? Uh, no, no, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, she's been dizzy. Has she, she been dizzy before? No, not that I know of. Allergic to anything? Um, uh, we have no way of knowing that. Okay. When was the last time somebody saw her? Uh, Edge? Yesterday. How, what time? I don't know. 120 over 80. 120 over 80. Pulse 100 strong and regular. Respiration 16. Got it. Listen, uh, I'll go with her in the ambulance. No, I will. There's no sign of trauma. You go in the car with Felicia. Okay. responds appropriately to painful stimulus. Okay. 
is there a problem? Adam, Adam what, what happened? Uh, we don't know. We found her on the floor. She always said she just asked me. We found her on the floor. No signs of problem. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I want a full blood workup and x-rays. All right. I should have known there was a problem. I should have gone over no, there. No, listen, don't mean. blame yourself. You had no way of knowing. Excuse me. What's going on? We find her unconscious in her apartment. D Dr. Cornerman, what are her symptoms? According to the paramedic, she's unconscious and has a fever. Uh, dehydration? I don't know. We're going to check. Why? Uh, doesn't she live at Willow Shores? Yes. Yes, she does. Tony and I have some other patients from that complex. With the same symptoms? Well, yeah, they're close enough. What's causing it? We think it might have something to do with the water. Uh, Tony and Tom are in the lab right now working on it. Let me know when you get the results, will you? Yeah, I will. Okay, good. Darling, wait. Is there something I can do to help? Please, Darling? If you want to go in there, I'll call Tony. No, no, that's okay. Thanks. I'm telling you, I should have known there was something wrong. Yeah, but you didn't know. Yeah, I should have, though. I mean, I called over there, and she didn't answer. I should have gone over there. Maybe I could have prevented whatever... You're really worried about her, aren't you? Yeah. You're not fooling anyone. Excuse me? Well, you don't really care about the woman. What? Look, Anna, look. Don't get taken in by this fish. I mean, he's not interested in her health. This is not the place or the time. I'm for... warning you. What you're doing is not right. You leave the girl alone. Anna, is there something you want to say to me? That's none of your business. Why are you being so hard on him? Because I can. I don't know what I have to do to prove myself to you, but you I'm... stay away from her. I can't do that. Oh, really? If it hadn't been for him, we wouldn't have found her in the first place. Right, because he has to look after her welfare. Security access. Security. Hi. How is she What's going on? She's still unconscious. Uh, do you know what happened? Uh, no, I don't. Can I see her? No, you can't. They're still running tests. Uh, are the symptoms the same as the other Willow Shores patients? They're identical. Then it has to be the water. No, the water tested pure. How pure? Very. Very high in minerals, and it's low in what they call government contaminants. Any unknown or marginal elements? No, none at all. Tom thinks it's a flu. It, it must be that. I mean, that at least rules out Willow Shores as a possible uh, potential danger. Except that I'm not so sure. Why not? At first, I agreed with Tom. But now you don't? No. Why? Because every patient with those symptoms lives at Willow Shores. That makes sense. Because if it was a cold or influenza or anything like that, a virus, we would be getting cases from other places by exactly. now. Exactly. Okay, okay, so what other things cause these I symptoms? I don't know. I mean, it could be glue, it could be asbestos, it could be paint fumes, it could be the wallpaper, it could be the so carpeting. Where do you start? It could be a combination of those events. I don't know. I told Tom I wish it was the water, because that way we could be looking for a cure instead of a cause. So then the whole building could be contaminated? Possibly, but at this stage, anything's possible. Do you want us to evacuate? On what grounds? No, no, I think we should go back to Don. For what? You know, run more tests, take more samples. That, that's going to take forever, isn't it? It could. You'd have to know what you were looking for. Yeah, and more to the point, we don't know how much time we have before this thing gets worse. Oh, okay, okay. So, what is the solution? The only idea I have is to go talk to Broxton. He owns that place, doesn't he? That's right. Robert told me about it when we were fiddling around with the diamonds. I heard he's gone legit. Oh, how legit does someone like that go? I mean, he was in the mob's pockets for so long. It wouldn't surprise me at all if he knows exactly what's going on here. He's staying at the Port Charles Hotel. Do you want me to question him? I'd like to do it, actually. You would? Mm-hmm. I think you should probably call him before you go over there. No, oh, that's no, the last no. thing we should exactly. do. Exactly. Because if he is hiding something, we don't want to give him a chance to cover it up. Yeah, okay, okay, but what if he doesn't know anything? It could be a complete waste of time. Well, we're not going to know anything until we ask him. I'm off. Do you mind if I go with you? No, come on. Oh, have you heard from Tony? No, I'm sorry. Oh, they haven't been gone that long. Yes, I know. They'll call. Well, on one hand, I can hope that it's nothing more than just a bad case of the flu. On the other, mm -hmm. it is something else. The sooner we know what it is, the sooner we can start treating her. And everybody else. Yeah. I assure you, if there are any answers to be had, Tony will find them. Did you get the feeling that Rita didn't think it was worth the trip? Yeah. She kind of didn't want them to go, did she? It's as if she was afraid of what would show up. You know. Hi. Oh, hi. I got here as quickly as I could. How is she? Uh, she's resting in her room. Did you lose an earring? You, boy, you were in a rush. Oh, my goodness. Those are the earrings I gave you for our first anniversary. I hope you didn't lose it. 
I heard Dawn was moved upstairs. Why didn't anybody tell me? Didn't you tell him? Yeah, yeah, I told him that she wasn't to be disturbed. That's what Monica said, right? Yeah, that's true. So no visitors until further notice. Sweetheart, are Hi. You, you looking for Max? Is Max here? Yeah, she's asleep upstairs with Lucas and BJ. Oh, the brownstone was completely empty. Dawn was supposed to be babysitting. Felicia went shopping with Anna. I was supposed to meet Edge there. I see he's not here. I can answer all your questions. Dawn is in the hospital. In the hospital? Is it serious? What happened? I, I don't know. Edge was here on the phone talking to her, and I guess she collapsed or something. At any rate, Felicia and Anna went with them over to the condominium. Oh, well, then that's where Felicia is. Listen, I'm going to make a call. Would you watch Max for a while? Oh, while honey, I'm that busy? is my pleasure. Thanks. You're not allowed to see her, Ned. I think you've been enough help for one day. I think you can go now. Look, I'm just as worried about her as you are, all right? Oh, Ned, calm down. You're going to see her in a little while. How's Dawn? She's groggy, dehydrated. Monica's looking at the blood work and the x-rays right now. Who are they? <laughs> uh, her suitors? <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know Edge over there. Though. That's Ned Ashton, and that's a long story. Maybe Bobby should explain that one. Bobby? I'm sorry, what, honey? Are you worried about something? Well, sure, Dawn, and my earring. Mm. Ned, please. All right, all right, all right. Look, Tony, look, I insist on seeing Dawn right now. Yeah, wherever he goes, I go. All right, you're going to check with Monica. I don't think it's a good idea. Look, this is the second time that you tried to stop me from going up there. What the hell is going well, on? She needs her rest, right? She needs her rest. Are you her doctor? No, of course well, I'm not. Well, then keep your doctor. damn opinions to yourself. I'm going to go talk to Monica. Yep. Did I I'm just say that? Did I just go say on. check with Monica? Won't do him any good anyway. Monica's not going to let him near the room. I came as soon as I heard. Why? Because I care about Oh, you. I know exactly how much you care. Okay, then you got my note, right? Oh, yeah. And your feelings couldn't have been more clear. Get out. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! No. No, I'm not gonna leave. I don't understand. Why are you acting this way? What did you expect? I expected a little understanding. Understanding? Oh, I understand you all right. What you wrote in that letter was terrible. Well, you got the wrong... Ned didn't even want to give it to me. What, 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 what do you mean Ned didn't want to give it to you? What, what is that? He showed you the letter? Yeah. He didn't want to. What the hell was he doing with I don't know, but you didn't have the guts to give it to me, let alone tell me in person. All right, you tell me what... Just tell me what was in the... I don't want to talk about it. I just put you out of here. Decker, get out of here. Okay, I don't no, want to no, okay, you. okay. No, yeah, get I, out I, of here. I want I you to get out of here. Decker, get out. I don't want you in here. Look, as soon as you tell me what was in the letter... Get out of here. I don't want to talk about this. As soon as you say what was in the letter... I just came here. Oh. Hi, Monica. How are you doing? Get out right now. I want to talk to you. Get out. Get out. Get out. Now! 
What were you doing in Dodge Ranch? Decker is back and there's going to be trouble. Any your business? Maybe? I'm making a mistake. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Just stop right now. Stop right now. Would you get off of me? Do you imagine? He's holding you back. Oh. So it was you. You snuck him in here. No wonder you didn't want me to come upstairs. Look, I said just calm down. All right, look, just leave me alone. Look, there's nothing you can do here. Will you please go home? No. I promise you he won't get into Dawn's room again. He shouldn't have gotten in there in the first place. I'm not... You know, you really got your nerve showing up here. You guys are creating a disturbance. No, he is creating stop a disturbance. Stop it. Just stop it. Just stop it. Now, listen, I'm not going to tell you again. You either get out of here or I call security. You better call the police. Ned! I'm not going anywhere until he goes. <laughs> All right, look, I'm taking him out of here. You make sure the rest of them are on the next car. Let's go. Stop, just stop, just stop, just stop, just stop it. Need somebody. All right, go back and walk. Now you can't. Jack, are you guys? Are you all right? <laughs> no, no. I tried. Yeah, I know. Did you get a chance to talk to him? Yeah. Not really. It's, it's, a, it's a no problem. A what? A note. I, I, left her, I left her a note before I left. I don't know anything about a note. At Kelly's in her room before I left, I left a note. Somehow Ned got his hands on it. How? You tell me. We'll see what I can do. I'll hold you to that. You look great. Your hair looks great. Your clothes look great. Thank you. What happened? Did you strike it, Rich? I didn't win the lottery, if that's what you meant. Well, what happened? It's not important. What's important is why I'm back here right now, which is Dawn. Oh. Well, I wish I could have told her that you were coming. I don't think it would have made any difference. Thanks for everything you have done. You're welcome. I told you I would call you if there was ever a problem, didn't I? I appreciate it. I appreciate the fact that you never told anybody where I was. Well, it wasn't easy, especially with everybody so down on you for leaving. Well, that's nobody's business, is it? Well, it still wasn't easy. I just want to talk to her. I, I, I just want to talk to her. You will. You will. You'll work it out. Oh, really? Did you see the way she acted? You didn't see that. She's sick, Decker. And you probably threw her with your clothes. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I thought all this stuff would throw her a bit, but I didn't know she would end up hating me. She doesn't hate you. How do you know? You don't know. I didn't think she'd feel this way either. I left her a note. I explained why I left, what my intentions were, what I was going to do. Mm -hmm. How I felt about it, how she could get a hold of me, everything. Forget it. All of your fantasies. I wouldn't put it exactly that way, but yeah, yeah. I don't understand why she's acting this way at all. Yeah, I know what you mean. If you write down all of your fantasies, it's strange that she would act that way. But Ned has something to do somewhere, mm -hmm. something. He has a finger in his pie. What do you think he did? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. How? Good. What are you going to do? I'm going to try to find out who strawberries and stuff. Mm -hmm. Monica said Dawn is resting, so I guess Decker's little impromptu visit didn't hurt that much. Thank God. It still shouldn't have happened. I'm going to find out why it did. Chief maintenance, you're, uh, you're still distracted about that airing, aren't you? Yeah. Although I know it probably happened. I probably just forgot to put it on and I'll get home and it'll be on the dresser. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure it will. Look, Bobby, if you want to go home and, and we'll pick the kids up and then go look for that earring, I'd be happy to stay here and help Tony out. Uh, uh, okay, uh, you wouldn't mind, huh? No, no, it'd be great. No problem. Okay, thanks. I appreciate it. I'd like to get home. I just want to feel better if I find it. I'm 
You know better than that. What were you thinking of? Dom. Not only is it against hospital policy for you to sneak somebody in, but in Dawn's condition, you took an awful risk. I thought it would help her to see him. Well, you were wrong. Well, I thought it would be. What? I thought it would be. I thought it would be. This is not open for discussion. Well, why don't you stop blaming the girl and blame me, huh? Well, you're next. I'm just not done with her. So oh, how did you get here. involved with this creature? He called me from Midvale, gave me the number. Oh, so Midvale. Is that where you've been? Maybe. And why did you involve her in all this? The question is, is why did you get involved? Well, you want me to explain that, Mr. I'd Officer? like to talk to my wife in private. Please, come on. Please. Okay, do you have anything else that you want to impart to me? Yeah, if you know what's good for you, you stay away from Dawn. Anything else? No. No? Well, maybe, what about what's good for Dawn, huh? Well, it's not you. And you know that. Poor Charles. Welcome back. I just can't believe this. I can't believe that you knew where Decker was the whole time and you never said a thing. How, how could you do that? Decker asked me. Well, what is it with you two anyway, huh? I believe in him. I like him. <sighs> I like him. Well, you're the only one, huh? You're the only one that feels that way. Well, I know what he's really like. Because when we were on oh, the road... Oh, I know, I know. When you were on the road. On the road, I remember. Yeah, that's right. How can you say you like him and you know what he's like? You didn't even know what the hell you were doing then. That's not the point. He helped me, so I promised I wouldn't tell. What about the promises he's made to Dawn? You don't know about those. Oh, well, you don't either. I, I believe what he tells me. Uh, Felicia, how can you say you believe I believe it, yes. Honey, the bottom line is, it's none of your business. Oh, well, you're the one that should be talking about other people's business. What's that supposed to mean? When you were a sneaker and you snuck behind Rita Lloyd's back with Sean. Now, wait a minute. We've been through that. You interfered in that... Tony and Bobby's marriage. And you don't think you're interfering in Dawn's life? Well, this is completely different. How is it different? Rita Lloyd is not a high-priced call girl. She wasn't interfering in Tony and Bobby's see, marriage. Are you... When are you going to realize what Decker really is? He's a sleazy con man. You can't give him the benefit of the doubt, can you? Well, uh, no, because I'm right. Well, so am I. Anywhere. So what else is new? So stubborn. All right, we'll call it even. On one condition. You stop being nosy and you butt out. Only if you promise to, too. Deal. Deal. Go to Kelly's and pick up our daughter, now. No, I think I'm gonna stay here a little while. I'm worried about Don. No more meddling. I'm not meddling. I'm not meddling. I uncrossed my fingers, didn't I? I'm gonna go see Tony. I'm gonna ask him about it. I don't want any of your smart mouth. I don't want any of your attitude. Okay, well, I don't think you'll get it, because I'm a new man. Do you see the do? See the do? That's exactly what I'm talking about, Dad. You're talking about the do? What, no, what are you talking about? Uh, was that I just want to make sure attitude? that we understand one another, that's well, all. Well, I think, in your case, a little, but we both speak English, right? Look, I don't care why you're here, and I don't give a damn what you're up to. But I'm warning you, I don't want Felicia involved. You got it? You're warning me. That's exactly what it is. It's a warning. So this is some kind of threat from an officer? Are you still an officer? I'm not going to stand for what happened before, Decker. Oh, then shut up and sit Why don't you just act like a normal human being and have some conversation with us? You think you could do that? I'll try. Decker, Decker, is that really you, honey? Is it really you? Are you back? I'm oh. How are you doing? Oh. Are you in some kind of trouble? Not yet. What does that mean? It means Briscoe and I, we just have a difference of opinion. My problem completely. You just stay away from Dawn. Oh, okay. Wait, guys, I, thank you. You know, I was worried I would come back and that you wouldn't recognize me, and I was also worried that you wouldn't remember me. But I know, what is it, out of sight, out of breath, something like that? Oh, you're my favorite. And you mine. Mwah. I don't know. Why do you egg people on like this? <laughs>
Frisco and I, we just don't agree because he's stupid. Well, there's no that. point in making the situation worse by that attitude and smart mouth. That's exactly what he's... I just don't want to talk about this. Thank you. Honey, I don't want to talk about it either. You are home. You're back. You're home. Yes, I am. In the flesh. Here I am. How long have you been back? Today. Well, where have you been? <sighs> been around. Oh, that's no answer. It's not important Why right now. Why didn't you call me and tell me you were coming back? Because it was a pretty spur of the moment type thing. Well, I, why, why haven't you told me where you've been all this long time? Because I didn't want anybody to know. Well, I wouldn't have told anybody. Well, I wouldn't have. Honey, for heaven's sake. Look, I can take care of myself, okay? That isn't the point. Okay, ex exactly what is the point, please? The point is that I am your mother. And my mother has missed you. I've missed you a lot. And it's nice to see you. Missed you too. You got a haircut. And look at these clothes. What'd you do, rob a bank? I think it was a convenience store, if I remember that. Oh. It's not funny. <laughs> you didn't really do that, did you? Thank you, Mother. Thank you. You trust me as much as Frisco. Thank you. You're my mother. Why is he mad at you? Because Felicia helped me get in to see Don in the back way. You've seen her? How is she? <laughs> she's a little bit angry. Well, she's got every right to be. For heaven's sake, she walked out on her. It wasn't like I left her at the altar or anything, was it? Well, you might as well have. No, no, it wasn't like that at all. I left her a note explaining everything. I never heard about any note. Why should you hear about a note? I didn't tell you. It wasn't for you. The note wasn't oh, yours. <clears throat> Maybe I can help. What'd you find out? I just saw Meg. Don showed her the letter. Yeah, yeah. Well, she said that it said on the letter that you didn't love Don and you were leaving town and she you told her to get on with her life. Get the gist? Why are you smiling? Yes, I get the gist. I didn't write that. This was the letter Ned showed her. That's that. That's. He that's told perfect. her that he found it outside her door. Well, I didn't leave it outside her door. This is great. Everything to do with this. Well, you're not going to do anything crazy. Wait a minute! Don't do anything stupid either. You just listen to Felicia. You can always make up for it and, and tell him, tell him the truth. For someone like Don, I think I need proof. I need. I think I need a jury, and I need affidavits and things like that. Thanks for watching, Max Ruby. That was my pleasure. I hope she was good. Oh, she was a perfect little angel. Well, that's because she takes after me, not her mother. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Thanks again. Oh, anytime. anytime. Hey, Bobby. Huh? Hey, we're going now. Oh, bye. Uh, everything okay? Mm. Yeah, sure, I'm fine. Something wrong with Lucas? No, he's fine. I'm just tired. It's been a terrible day. I'm glad it's over. Listen, we can stay and help you with the kids and get everything together. Oh, no, Bye. that's not necessary. I've closed the place up. I'll help Bobby. Okay. You sure? Yeah. All right. Bye, now. Let's move on. Bye-bye. Thanks Bye, again. Gorgeous. Thank you. Bye, gorgeous Bye. girl. My pleasure. Come on, ladies. Let's move it. Bye. Bye. Sleepy? Yes. Are you? No. I keep thinking about Dawn. Mm, yeah, poor Dawn and all those patients. Well, if anybody's going to find the answer to what's wrong, it's Tony. Mm, I'm surprised he hasn't found out what's making all those people sick. You know what I can't believe? What? I can't believe Decker had the nerve to show his face in poor Charles again. I thought we weren't going to talk about him anymore. Oh, right. Sorry. If I can't be concerned, then you can't well, be Well, I concerned. certainly don't want to be concerned. But you can't help but be a little suspicious, right? I thought we weren't going to talk about it anymore. Right. Sorry. We have more important things going on in our lives right now mm -hmm. to be concerned with him. Yeah, like Max and Christmas is coming. And our little girl's first Christmas, huh? Yeah. <laughs> And our jobs, too. Mm hmm right. That's about it. Well, I love my life. 
Yeah, I'm glad you're in it. I'm glad Max is in it. Me too. All right. Well, let's hit the hay for good, huh? Okay. Okay, let's get a good night's sleep. All right. Okay, love you. Love you. Kiss, kiss. Yes. Okay, good night. Good night. I think it's your turn. I know. I'll go. You will? Yep. On one condition. No more Decker. You don't have to bribe me. I already gave you my word. Fine. Then you go. Then again, a little bribery never hurt anybody, did it? I'll go. Yeah. Oh, hi, Ruby. Is Bobby there? Oh, yes, Joni. Hang on just a minute. Darling, it's for you, Tony. Mm -hmm. Hi, honey. Hi. Uh, listen, Dawn's condition's not improving right now, so I'm gonna hang in here for a while. Don't wait up for me, all right? Okay. Did you find your earring? Uh, no, honey, I haven't even had a chance to look for it because I came right over here to pick up the kids. Well, let me know if you find it, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye. I'm gonna go check on Dawn. Thank you.